Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, I'm your host, Mrs. M. And if you haven't, make sure you click the link below. That way you can subscribe to my channel and not miss out on anything you need to scale your cleaning business to six figures and beyond. Oh, so I talk a lot about getting contracts and I talk a lot about marketing. So if you have been one of those individuals that don't want to do a franchise, you are doing a franchise, but you want more business on your own, or you're using lead generations to get them, and you're tired of using the lead generations to get the business, then this is the video for you. I know for years, I didn't know one major question. How do I get the contracts? How do I get the contracts? That's the question I get a lot. So if you've wondered that, then I want you to stay tuned because I'm going to give you everything you need. I'm going to go into a great detail, sort of like a workshop to give you a lot of things that's going to get you on your way more than you thought you could be. You ready? Let's go. So I'm sharing my screen today and let's look at what we are going to look at. And the very first thing we're looking at is we're talking about act. We're talking about what we need to do to act and how to be a timer for the action. So A stands for attracting, how you're going to attract the customers. C stands for convert, converting them where they're ready to sign the contracts. And the T is gonna be for retain because you don't wanna constantly get people over and over. Now I'm gonna go into great deal with the first one, which is the telephone. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go into great detail with you on what you need to do to make sure that you are all ready for when you are setting your appointment for the telephone. So let's go. So we need to understand that we have to have a system set up for obtaining prospects in calling. I got more contracts in calling than what you would imagine. A lot of people think cold calls don't work. They absolutely do. It's all about how you make them work. So stay with me so we can go through some of the varied steps. I'm not going to take you through the whole thing, but I am going to take you through enough for when you get off of here. If you stay to the end, you will actually get this um, information. I'll make sure that it's available to you if you stay to the end for various information that's going to make it make a difference. So let's look at the first thing we need to do to set up a system. We need four things, our list, a CAR system, which is basically like uh, constant contact, or you can use ConvertKit, C-O-N-V-E-R-T-K-I-T.com. I love them. I love convert. I love uh, constant contact, but they are not free. ConvertKit is. So ConvertKit is what you can use to build that relationship where you're going to, uh, in the le and later on in the other lessons when we're talking about all the other things, telephone, in-person mail outs, and emails, you're going to need your CMR system. Equipment, telephone, and a mental attitude, very important. Now, you need five basic things to remember when you're doing sales. The cold calling the needs analysis, the follow-up, the presenting, and the closing. Those are all five of the activities when it comes to it. Most salespeople feel that their greatest strength is in the presenting, but they have a thing about cold calling. Now, if you're the CEO of your company, which you probably are, you're the salesperson, you got that hat on, you're the admin, you have that hat on, and you've got the lead gen, you're all of those things. Today, we're going to concentrate on one piece because this one piece is important in order to even have the business to get to my favorite six figures and beyond. Wow. So this is what we need to pay attention to. How you think about sales is everything. Now, this is the actual course that I go through when I'm doing consulting and I'm wanting, I hear so many people say they cannot get any leads. So I want to give you something that can get you some leads. You can take these actionable steps right now today. Well, tomorrow, because it's a little late in the day, but make sure you follow along. I'm going to tell you what you do if someone doesn't answer the phone, what you need to do if you have to leave a voicemail. All of that is going to be given to you rather quickly. Okay. So you first thing you've got to understand that 
you've got to get your mindset right. And you have to think about the approach, your voice, when you're doing the cold calls, your tone and your speed all play a big role in how the prospect is going to feel about you. Be in a location that you're not distracted. Now, a lot of us think of cold calling. We think of like sleazy salesmen, old, you know, what do we call them? Used car salesmen, all of that. But selling is one of the most best professional and one of the most, um, I guess you would say, inside of that industry, if you're a salesperson, a great salesperson, you can make more money than anything. I mean, other than being a CEO, salespeople rank the highest in their profession. So it's a very professional profession and you can make lots of money if it's done correctly. So cold calling is not a dirty word. Cold calling is fill in the bank. People, salespeople are, and my prospects are. You gotta get your mind right first. Now let's look at our approach. We've got our mind right. We're ready. We're not gonna take this personal. We're ready to dive in. The first thing is your voice. They have been studies that have shown that they like people to sound like they are. I'm kind of excitable. So if someone gets on the phone, hi, my name is probably going to turn me off. I've already checked out. So I'm an excitable person. I've got energy. So I like energy. So if you call me and I sound excited, sound excited. If I sound calm, sound calm. Your voice, your tone, and your speed has a lot to do with mimicking the person that's on the phone. Remember that. Mimic how they sound. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are positive. And trust me, you can feel when someone sounds like they like what they're doing. Very important. The other thing is to remember there are very five very basic ingredients to a sale. The salesperson, the qualified prospect. You want to make sure there's someone you want to deal with to get to know them. A need and a want for what you're selling. Remember, there's the need and the want the product or service, and the strategy, the selling strategy. Remember the goal in prospecting is to intentionally, you know, you want to inquire, you want to assess, you want to discover, you want to educate to determine if they're a good fit. Now you want to educate because they may not know what you bring to the table. So you want to make sure you let them know. So now once we understand the speed and the tone and our voice, we know that there are seven types of prospects. So which one are you? Are you the pusher? You know, are you more focused on the sale than anything? Are you pushy? And the pros are you're persistent and you're confident, but the cons are normally you get a lot of returns and consolations. Or do you just shoot from the hip and you kind of make it up as you go? You have a lot of high energy, but you don't use the script. Not a good look. The pros are you're passionate and you have charm, but the cons, it's hard to, to really work with you because you have no system. Are you the type that's like high and by in 30 seconds, you're rushing through the call and you're trying to get out the script out before the person says no? Because people hate that, that dreaded no. So what are the pros? You're focused and organized, but the cons are the people usually can't even hear what you're saying. Then there's a person that just copies everything anyone says. They listen to this person. They listen to that person. They don't have their own way of doing it. They're not consistent and it's not authentic. You know, usually these people, they they can improve. They, they're they ready They because they seek improvement because they're looking at everyone and oh, I'm going to use that person's style or that person's style or I looked at this or that. It's got to fit you. It's got to fit your personality. Yeah, I said, if they're sounding excited, you want to just increase your speed, but you still want to, you know, if you're not a person who uses a lot of slang, then don't use slang. If you're a person that does, you know, of course, we don't want to say anything that's going to throw the person off by being too much yourself, because this is a professional setting. You do represent your business. But just think about the fact that this is the gateway to opening the doors, to doing walkthroughs, to get contracts, to get money. Think about that every time. Have a card somewhere that shows the sign of the money you're going to get from doing this. Um, the con is they don't ever stick with anything long enough to see if it even works. So stick with something to see if it even works. The pleaser, 
oh, I want to do everything you say. I want to make sure I'm going to overpromise and under deliver because I want to get the walkthrough. Their desire to serve is great, but they say anything to get the walkthrough and that's not a good look. And then the educator is the master of their trade. They're professional. They rely on their vast knowledge and they are impressive when they're trying to make the sale. The pro is they have great product knowledge in the janitorial cleaning, you know, all of that, the industry, they know it very professional, but they do not usually have much sale, you know, skills in actually selling as much as they do the product. So I can tell you all about the cleaning industry, but they really don't know how to close. And this is what you want to be. This is you. You want to be the advisor the model for the prospects. This is what you want to be. This combines all of those together. All seven come into one, all of them. This is what you want to focus on. Now, remember this. Everyone's asking when you call them, what's in it for me? They want to know what's in it for them. So let's get to the number one thing. And I know you've heard this before. You want to talk about the feature and the benefit. The feature is you get a professional cleaning company. That's what you're thinking. The benefit is they get to outsource it. And then you want to talk about the bottom line very quickly. It increases their bottom line because they get to concentrate on their core business and you are cleaning for health, which allows for a healthy environment, saves money on their health plan, on their health plan. Now, I'm going to start thinking of money. Ching, 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 ching. I'm going to start thinking of the fact that these people are saving me money. So I'm going to listen. The listening ears are on because now I'm going to have fewer employees that will become ill due to them having a clean environment, which is going to translate into money for me. That's a part of what's in it for them. Think about that. Also, you want to make sure that you include any testimonials or any measurable results in what you are talking about. Give them five compelling reasons why once you're going to do your walkthrough. Now, this is once you're doing your walkthrough. One thing I wanted to talk about because it goes on and on and on. So I want to make sure that I just finalize one thing. When you're doing the call. So let's say we are on the phone. We've got our phone right here and we are getting ready to call. And we want to be very, very mindful. So when we're getting ready to do this, and we're talking about it. You want to say hi, you know, hopefully you have if you which if you're here next week, I'm gonna do where you find the leads where you get their names. So you're not like just pulling it out the air, but where you actually get their names. So you, you know, you understand that, you know, you want to get to it. So this is something you could say. You could say, you know, hi, thank you. Uh, Mr. John, I'm sure you're busy, so I'm going to get right to it. Get to it. Hello, my name is so-and-so. I'm calling for so-and-so. Thank you. you. Remember, I said you want to have their name, but we're going to say thank you, Mr. John. I'm sure you're busy, so let's get right to it. I'm calling today because we specialize. This is where you need to have that differentiator. What do you specialize in? That's what you want to think about. And then you want to make sure you kind of get them involved in the conversation. And then the end goal is to make sure you set up the appointment and say, how does next Tuesday at three sound? Now, this was a high view, very high of things that we do, but we nail it down inside of the videos. If you go back, I've got scripts and everything for you through other videos. So make sure you look at the playlist that gives you all the videos on some other ways that you can close a sale. So I love, love, love sharing this with you. This has helped me tremendously. This was a quick overview. If you'd like to know more, look at some of my previous videos. And then also, when you get done looking at those videos, make sure you scurry on over to get the link, link below and uh, get this information so that you can write down some of the things you need. So it's going to be available for you to download this presentation so that way you can learn more. And if you want to know even more about the act, attract, convert, and retain or more about the timer, which is telephone, in-person, mail out, email, and a referral. Make sure you're here next Wednesday 
when I'm going to go into detail about what you need to do in person. And I'll probably even take you along with me going to someone in person and going in and knowing exactly what to say. I love it. So I, and to next time, I look forward to seeing you guys. Make sure you click the link so that that way you can get the this presentation, practice it, and also make sure you sign up for the free workshop where I go into all of this detail and more on setting up your system so you have something that works for you each and every time. So until the next video, I want you guys to be safe, take care, and have a good one. Bye-bye.